Hi guys, welcome to the Music BNB. My name is Callum, and today we're reacting to Luna Karina with the EP Inner Bloom, along with some other songs, just to kind of tie it together into sort of more albumy length reaction, I guess. So that's what we're going to do. Now, Luna Karina has been on the channel before. In fact, I reviewed some music two years ago. You can check that out up there or at the end of the video if you like what you hear. Make sure to add it to your streaming services. Linked in the description down below are all the songs that I'm reacting to today. So let's start off, first of all, with this EP called Inner Bloom. And I'll give you some more background about the artist while we're reacting to this song. Let's go with our first song, which is called Closer Baby Closer. <laughs> find myself I'm at the wrong angle that's better get my get my angles right gotta get your angles right guy funky like it nice groove nice groove bit of background then Jacob is the main songwriter in the band plays guitar bass synth keys production back and vocals the group features Jack Prince, who does the artwork and guitar, and George Ryan, who's a guest vocalist, but now a full-time member. The EP has production and instrumental appearances from Ewan Edger and Jack Hall. There's guests, Sue San from Malaysia, the Louisa Kitana from Africa, Malik G, Lucy Rachel, Nakane Nika from Spain, and Marine Parodi from France, and more. Wow, real collaborative effort. Okay, liking this. Really nice and breathy. Such a great funky kind of feel to it. Pretty nice lyrics, really. Um, I don't know quite how to describe them, but they have a kind of ethereal feeling. Sorry, my dog's just doing zoomies around the room. I'm just watching him. <laughs> really nice vocalist, Susan. It's got such a, like, um, a mall kind of shopping kind of music, like something you'd hear in a clothes shop. A really good groove, like something you'd like, bob your head to while you're picking out some nice shirts for the disco. Okay. This is Drive Me Home, featuring the Louisa. It's got a clash kind of feel, this one. Different vibe to the first track, I'm liking it. Like that little run. Cool. Just 
Nice strong vocals here. Really good. Lovely dream pop kind of sounds we're getting here. From the South Coast UK, these guys. It's a bit screaming there, I think, I heard. Such a nice guitar sound, this. Oh, gorgeous. Just take it from me. You definitely are a queen. And if you want me to bleed, you can let me have something up your sleeves. Harmony is great as well, these vocal harmonies. It's a good time. Nice. Anna is next, featuring Kitana. We had a nice vocalist. Now our boyfriend, he's just 24. The feds, they came and they took him down to the floor. Didn't know no I wish I had that voice. I mean, I, I think I have an okay singing voice. Ooh, my banner came up. <laughs> Go check out my music too. <laughs> oh, we got breakdowns? We got jerks. This is definitely a versatile EP. <laughs> Love it. Wasn't expecting this in an indie dream pop EP. <laughs> Double bass run. We got hyper pop now, right? Or something. Too many lies that shouldn't have made no 
it's you and I. Now it hurts knowing you kept playing my games, giving me an overdose. Thinking you and I were very close. Instead of making friends, turning into the big this song rocks. <laughs> I'm loving the the colliding of genres. It's not just a metal song. I love living in 2024 because you can have albums just this kind of like have all these cross genres, and it's okay. And people people like it. They're not batting an eye at it. I think it may be us millennials. We we grew up this kind of stuff. So to hear it mixed in with other stuff, we'll eat it up. We'll eat it up. That was cool. That was very cool. This EP so far is um, subverting expectations in the best way possible. And yeah, I hope it carries on. This is our final song of the EP. It's called Stay All Morning. Featuring Malik G and Lucy Rachel. For our next song that we're listening to after this EP, uh, which is called Barriers. We're going to be listening on uh, on Apple Music. Then the one after that, we're going to be switching to Spotify because it's not on uh, it's not on Apple Music. Saxophone solo is beautiful. Fruit, got a shock to my system. She a Pikachu. Spots to make my Tinder light. How she make it so Tinder light. Get it. Fire <laughs> burning through the night. My baby wanna show me how. Can you really eat fruit? But she do love a bow. Got me acting like a dog like my bow. Wow. Just don't fit. Always reminiscing about the same old dish. Now the sun rise and the nights we quit. Love's gone cold and the flames we sit. I guess that's it. song I'm loving that we've kind of gone into other genres here as well we've got kind of like a lounge jazz spoken word rap type thing here really good next up we're listening to a song called Barriers featuring Nick Kane it was released the 29th of March this year Right, this is Barriers featuring the cane. <laughs> 
and then we're going to move to Spotify for our next song. Very nice close vocals, it feels like they're in your ear. Circumvent in a song. High five. Another funky, clothes shopping kind of song. Other than the dreaminess of it. sounds love it that would fit nicely on the ep that we just listened to actually uh, although i do like the variety in that ep right let's move to spotify this is someone far away find the key i think it's a remix of that song It's not a remix, sorry. An alternative, alternative version, Find the Key, from Lily. So we did review some songs from Lily. This is a alternative version from Lily. Find the Key was the last song from the album. Really. It's 
been a, a long time since I reacted to actually, so it doesn't feel familiar to me. Maybe that's because it's an alternative version. I'd have to go and listen to this after this reaction just to remind myself what it was. Karina and Susan on this track. Maybe the difference is the language it's been sung in. Really big synth sounds in the background, really good ambient synths going on there. Good lo-fi drums there, or filtered drums even, EQ'd drums even, low-cut drums even. Big Phil. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next up is Lifeline, which is the Underwood Beats remix of the song Lifeline. Oh, big driving bass beat, nice. Very, very at the forefront and punchy, punchy drum as a beat remix should be. Well, an Underwood beat remix, but as a big disco kind of beat. Should be. I keep saying disco. I'm not that old. <laughs> Go to the disco. I like life, I've heard this. I've heard this. It's a great song.
I really love that high-pitched falsetto sound, it's great. I feel like the spaces in between this kind of like chorus hook are a bit, mm, like they need something. Almost like maybe someone rapping in between it. <laughs> something like that. In between those. Well, they got the T-Pain out. Keep it coming. Very good, very funky, very groovy. Very catchy, easy to remember. This will be playing in my head while I'm doing the dishes later. Lovely. Right, our last song of today is Virtue. Or Vertu? Vertu. It's a Spanish Vertu. There being green in Spanish. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> this is an alternative version of another song from Lily. Very bright sound in this compared to. <laughs> The driving whoopy kind of sound from the from the beats that we just heard. The underground beats, what's it called? Under something. I'm loving all the different flavors from some of these tracks, like. Look at French. Maybe there too it means virtue in French. <laughs> I've just offended like so many people. Mm. Apologies all around to everyone. Beautiful. So, this is Luna Karina and Marine Parodi. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. Beautiful
I love that. I really did. That's amazing. Right. So let's go over what we've heard over this kind of the course of the Inner Bloom EP and the singles as well. Uh, I think personally, the Inner Bloom EP is the strongest thing I've heard out of everything I've heard today. I, re- I remember really enjoying the last album, Lily, which was in 2022. I've really enjoyed that album. Uh, but Inner Bloom has such a great variety of genres. It's genre bending whilst all, almost genre blending too. Like there's a, there's a combination of both. Nothing felt out of place, even when it was going into the realms of like sort of metalcore, you know, <laughs> breakdown, beat chugging kind of stuff. It all really worked so well together. So in a blue EP, that was it for me. But there were some songs that I really did enjoy. I was a big fan of the Lifeline remix. I thought that was a really good time. Um, and also uh, there too at the end. I really liked that. They had a variety of different things. Whereas I thought that Barriers and maybe the alternative version of Find the Key were more within the dream pop realm, but not doing as much to push maybe the genre forward as Inner Bloom EP was. So dream indie pop stuff is incredible, but what's really nice is that we're taking it into 2024 by blending different styles and genres so that it feels fresh. And that's really important uh, these days, especially to have something that's got that unique twist that's going to draw people towards it. So yeah, if you liked any of these, feel free to add them to your streaming services. Link in the description down below, guys. And um, down below, down below. And remember, in a world where everyone wants to be heard and no one's doing the listening, be the one that does the listening. Goodbye, I guess. And now it feels so good to say hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Good day. Hello. And now it feels so right to say I miss you, I love you. And God, it feels so good to say hello. God, it feels so good to say hello. Bye, ladies and gentlemen.